Fasting helps you build muscle. Come on now. All right, guys, we're back. And this week, we're talking about fasting. Apparently, it's a muscle builder. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. This week, we have a video from Income Fact. I've been getting so many videos from like time investors, Income Fact. There's so many of these like male red pill investment motivation accounts now that are into like fasting and cold baths. I think they're all run by the same freaking dude, to be honest. They all say the same shit. But this one's pretty hilarious. Clinically proven, when you do a fasted workout, you actually can build more muscle. If you have food, in your system while you're working out. It's digesting. It's oh. digesting while you're trying to work too. Whereas if I don't have food in my system, now all of that energy is being shifted towards the muscle, towards circulation. Oh. My metabolism is different too. Okay. Because wow. all I'm doing is pulling the sugar out of the muscle, the glucose out of the muscle, to burn that. And then once I burn that out, now all it's doing is burning fat. Whereas if you got food in your system, is only gonna be working on the food. So the person on there, his name's Dr. Bobby Price. He is a, well, it says he's a detox specialist. Hmm. I wonder if he's a naturopath or chiropractor. You know, oh, he sells herbal detoxes and mineral bundles. And, oh my God. If he is not a chiropractor or a naturopath, I will eat my shirt right here. He's a certified plant-based nutritionist, exercise physiologist, and doctor of pharmacy. Wow, that's a new one. The doctor of pharmacy. Which pharmacy class covered fasting builds muscle? All right, let's just address his claims, which first of all, he appears to be very confused because he's talking about it makes you build muscle. But then he says, well, you got to use sugar and your glycogen in your muscle, which means you can't burn fat. What? You use glycogen in your muscle depending on exercise intensity. Um, and you'll do that when you're resistance training. I wonder if we have human randomized control trials when they look at fasting versus feeding and its effects on anabolism before and after exercise. Oh, wait, we do. They show that muscle protein synthesis increases in response to feeding. Who would have thunk it? If you eat food, protein, it has leucine, which stimulates muscle protein synthesis. Voila, you have anabolism. If you don't eat, your body has to produce that endogenously. Yes, part of that will come from fat stores, but part of it will come from gluconeogenesis, which is going to involve protein oxidation. And hey, you may not lose muscle doing fasted workouts, but it is not more anabolic and it's probably not optimal. Now, if you like to work out fasted, it's probably fine. If you're a bodybuilder or a, an NFL football player or somebody who your livelihood is kind of dictated upon how much lean mass you can build, then it's, it's, it's probably not optimal. But can you build muscle doing fasted workouts? Sure. Will you build as much as doing fed workouts? I, I think probably not. But again, if we look at the human randomized control trials, we see that feeding is anabolic and we have known it for 40 years. One of my advisors, Dr. Peter Garlic, He's passed on now. One of the godfathers of assessing muscle protein synthesis is doing cartwheels in his grave right now because of like this. Even in the 60s and 70s, we knew that feeding was anabolic. Yet somehow this friggin', I, I don't know, charlatan mass, not only are they getting stuff wrong, they're actually saying the opposite of what stuff is. All right, if you guys don't mind, I have a shirt to eat. I'll catch you next week.